Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Hello everybody, what's going on? It's Bowtie Man here, and we are here playing Life is Strange. Now, if you watch Chase's channel, he played this a little while back, but he never finished it. And I, I'm not really sure if he ever will finish it, but he's planning on it, so... If you want to wait before you watch it and watch it as Chase, you can, you know, go watch it with Chase. But, uh, here we are. We're playing with Life is Strange's game by, um... Square Enix, and uh, I mean that really makes me happy because Square Enix also made the Kingdom Hearts games, and I love Kingdom Hearts so so much. Um, but anyway, if you've uh, if you've watched Markiplier's uh, Until Dawn, it's almost a little bit like that. A lot of the choices you make affect stuff later on in the game. So, all right, here we go, new game. Here we go. Oh, that is loud. Oh, that's really loud. Oh, I'm gonna edit that to make it not so loud. Well, we are a little girl lying on the ground. So I, I watched um, all the episode trailers for this, and at first I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna like it. But now that I'm actually, you know, playing the game, I I think it won't be so bad. We just gotta get to that lighthouse right there. Yep, simple task. Yep, nothing else. Nothing that. Uh, oh my goodness! Look at the size of that! That is a huge storm! Holy shit! You should get to the lighthouse, you walked towards the hurricane. What are you standing there for? Run! Whoa. That was so surreal. Mostly called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black? I didn't fall asleep, and. That sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Because like I'm totally such a snob and I want to sound like I'm so life. smart. That's definitely she what. She saw humanity is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment. What, what am I doing? And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay, then. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. 
I have to admit, I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. <laughs> but I like it old school. He captured the essence of post-war beat Take America. Take selfie. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Which explains why Frank... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it is still too damn hot. <laughs> Thanks, global warming. And I can't burst out of the big, uh, burst out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate will let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost completely revoke my geek card before I held up the copy of Battle Royale. But he nails me with the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in my, in one of my old albums. Blah blah blah. I should find that out. Next. Oh God. Um. Alright, let's exit that. Photographic muse. And those were the great oh, okay, bags. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. We've all seen that iconic shot Okay, of looks like we're down. taking a selfie. Well, let's look at it first. Shame, shame. I do love my analog camera. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist fo- Shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Oh. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Uh, let's just go with I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Oh, wow, what a The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular Sorry, for Sorry, Max. Zone. No more selfies the right now. The American Daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him What is... In what is... Textbook. Is someone watching porn on, on that? Line. Oh. <laughs> and guys, don't Guess forget we'll never the deadline know. to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, look, I have a new item in my inventory. So... Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Oh, <laughs> so do a lot of other people. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most excuse it. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Okay. So one of the things I really oh, let's see who is watching who is watching porn. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Obviously. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Yep. Cool. Porn. <laughs> so as I was saying, one of the things I really, really liked about uh, uh, the, you know, this game being by Square Enix is because that printer is amazing. This is. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. A lot of different. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Sh shut up. Very no, much. I don't suck. Someday. Very much different than uh, the Kingdom Hearts series was, which uh, they're both story-based games. But I know Kingdom Hearts had more uh, 
more of a you know fighting type to it and this is more story based than anything else that was amazing when mr jefferson took a class picture the first week even though i didn't want to be in the picture at all it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us all right we've already dropped our first f-bomb damn they have carbon fiber tripods here the ball head even has a pan lock god i'm such a photo nerd it's okay i'm a video game nerd kate looks so sad and quiet today nope oh. poor thing i'm sorry i i uh i elbowed my mic hi kate oh hi max Oh, Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. She has to get going, but she's still sitting there <laughs> looking at her hand. Is she looking at her? she's looking at her hand. Oh, well, from that angle, it looks like he's... Yeah. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Hey! See? See? I told you that was porn. I, I told you that that's what that was right there. That was porn on that computer. It's... it's this is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Somebody's got a crush. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I, uh, do, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. And let, let's look at her. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> That's how I feel about half the people in my school, just that they're talking about me, aren't they? You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh. Foreshadowing. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. More foreshadowing. Is that the new Samsung Curve TV? Nope. Man, he even has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Alright. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Let's go. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the real world. That sounds like me and my huh. girlfriend. Then I might send you a Except we're more friendly than they are. So shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking Square Enix. Creators of the best badass game in the world. Who are we listening to? Oh, I was about to say that better not be Hello by Adele. Let's listen to some Nate Wants to Battle. Come on. Oh, I can walk around now. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting. She doesn't hang out with a lot of people. What about this kid? 
I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, you can't dad. see him. Kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. You didn't even get anything out of your locker. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. What do you think? Who's this? Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. <laughs> I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Hey, right, Brooke. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh, missing person. Who's missing? It looks like she's been gone for months. Uh, wait, oh, Rachel. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing about her in the thing. Uh, apparently she plays a big part in the story. Oh, hey, let's buy some Doritos and some Mountain Dew. Come on. We should just call it a sugar machine. Yep. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Well, I do like my sugar. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. A gun freeze. My girlfriend's gonna kill me if she finds out I went into the girls' locker room. Empty. Or oh. bathroom, whatever. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know what happens. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Sh should we... Should we... Should should we make a porn video in here? No, no, okay. Alright, let, let, let's wash our hands. Alright, alright, wonderful, wonderful. She's wearing some of those cool converse that we like to Just wear. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Our second F bomb. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Ooh, ooh. Are we gonna take a picture? Photo. Since mostly I'd probably take photography. Oh. What's he doing in the girls' locker room? Oh, I know exactly what he's doing in the girls' locker room. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Oh, what, what you do? You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. That is terrorism, my friend. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave 
them out of this bitch. I can wow. tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who oh. you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put oh, that no. thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Hello. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, no. Oh. That's blood. There, there's no, no. It's ketchup. It's Whoa. ketchup. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. Oh God! Are we gonna have to look at crap? I already heard this lecture. I'm not gonna have to take a picture again. <laughs> Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Bzzz. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Okay, all right. Oh, Nate. I did and it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the time machine. My God. Anybody? This is Doctor Who on steroids. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Keep it together, Max. Images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. But you can get the question right now, so yay. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name? Okay. Uh, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Knows Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Okay, we're going to have to rewind again, I can tell. give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? All right, let's rewind a bit. Yeah, come on. Max, since you've captured. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, there we go. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Yeah, you did it. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, <coughs> mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the now, chapter. bitch? Max what now? Is so far way ahead of everything. Okay. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh my Max, God, there's so much deja crazy. vu. We're not crazy. <laughs> it's time to be an everyday hero. Well, f first let's yes, Victoria, you erase your marks. Let's get it. Look. Huh? This might make a cool shot. All right, let's take a photo. No, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. 
I just really think right, right. Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. You look so pale. Um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. <laughs> Too much stress. Tripping. I know that. On line. acid. Oh. Right, I have to go. I have to go. Too much happening right now. Sure. Alright. Let's see if we can get this photo turned in. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future. Okay. Uh, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. To quickly undo your oh, press control. Your latest action is represented by a mark on the couch. Let's try that again. Excuse me, Mr. Future stars of uh, John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. So Max, that is fire today. really cool. All the right answers, good. Make sure you able, able to go time. back and um. I have faith in you. Like, so, like if I had that ability to like be able to take a test and know what I got wrong and be able to go back, like rewind time to find out what the after I find out what the right answer is, so I would love that. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't okay. tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, we've already met all these people. Let's go to the... Let's go to the... Uh, I don't like this. Alright, let's go. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the... Butterfly. butterfly flew in. Then you can and I took a take photo. a photo. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then he's gonna come in. Leave them out of this bitch! I can My tell God. everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around That's with. That's the third one, or I guess you could say what the fourth one. Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's happening. I need a hammer to break it open. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Aww. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Alright, right, right here. Look, a people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Ah. Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I already had. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again. I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell him. Another shitty day. Did you? You ran? Oh, okay, he put it in his belt. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. Okay, come What on. the fuck is going on? We need to get out of here. Let's Do not freak out. Okay. Obviously, they're gonna find her picture in there and know she's probably. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Oh, yeah. You leave me alone, dickhead. 
All right. Um. Let's speak to him. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, what am I gonna tell him? Um. Mm, okay, some tells me this is really going to like affect. Mm, let's hide the truth. This seems like the best option. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. Okay. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents I, I, will approve when they find out. You don't now even get know outside she's done. class. Please. No, well. he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Um, let's do it. I'm touching his chest. It's kind of weird. Let's speak. You look a little stressed out. Okay, let's skip this part. Let's report Nathan. Let's see what happens then. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. He's, he's not going to believe me. He's happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. He's not going to believe And me. one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon. Then the check him. Family. Like... So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's uh, it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in mm. my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. Let's, let's go outside. Alright. So, it, it just says, so I'm gonna... Alright, 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 alright. I want to thank you all for watching and hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like down there, wherever it is. And if you liked what you saw here and in previous videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. See you later. Au revoir. Bark. Meow. Batman.